Hey, was that creepy enough for you? It's Drifting for a Buck. We're back with a new haul video. I'm a weird dude. I try to keep things under creep level seven. That felt like it may have gone a little higher. I apologize if that was a little creepy. But we're back with a new haul video for this week. Let's get going. First off, um, had a Goodwill stop. We got this little guy. Um, it's Avon. It's from the 80s. I built a snowman and he's come to life. And he has a snowman that sings the other part of the song. Look at him dance, just like he's floating on air. Anyway, this was three bucks. I know these are good. This also, let's put these guys down. This also was there. A little snowman pops out of his hat. Also $3. Also Avon. Also from the 80s. I had these growing up. My mom was an Avon manager for her career. Shout out to Carol again. So I know these got good value. Uh, it's got to fight his little partner, but we're good for now with them. Um, I went to the trash auction again and got more trash. Um, they had a big the box of uh, old camera parts. You can see these box camera things, I guess you call them. This is just an Argus case. Um, it was 15 bucks. I think I bought them out of boredom. Um, but there was a lot of stuff. I figured I could make a couple bucks if I lot everything up. I got this. I got this. Um, this thing is pretty cool. Hello. This thing is pretty cool. Look at it. It, uh, it opens up like some sort of flash thing. Pretty cool. I thought that was just neat. I like the little, little case it's in. Um, this meter came with it also. It's got a crack. but uh, So this is a good example of the trash auction because... This is some kind of whatever cheap I watch, but look how dirty this thing is. That's how this place is. There used to be a hole in the floor in the middle of the auction house uh, that was recently fixed. It was there for years. Um, the main reason why I really bought it came with a nice little, another little Timex watch. Uh, you know, this old camera case was in there. Uh, God darn it. Um, the reason why I bought it, uh, because these two iPods, these two iPods were in there. Um, someone tried to sell them for 50 bucks. They're worth about 15 each. I thought they were worth a little bit more. That's why I bought it. Um, bought the lot. This was the lot. So it came with all this stuff. There's some frames. There's a bunch of empty film things. A bunch of meters. The whole box of stuff for 15 bucks. Um, I know I could make a few bucks on it, but oh, these were also in it. Just uh, some sort of cheap toys, whatever. I know I'll make a few bucks on it, but it was bought out of boredom beyond anything else, to be honest. Um, I got some hats on whatnot. They were a dollar each with a dollar with 50 cents shipping after the first one was five five dollars and it was a 50 cent shipping. So I got this nice 47 brand Mariner's hat. I used to like 47 brand, but now I got to wear flat brims because I have glasses and the hats just look weird. Uh, 5950 Seahawks hat. It's a Magellan Outdoors. I'm probably going to keep this one, try to flatten it out. I like the trucker hats. It's got a cool flag on it. And this one is Blade Tech. Um, I didn't know what it was. It looks like a bull, but it's two handguns. Uh, I guess they make holsters, so I figured ah, so I'll be able to sell it. I hope it'll get 15 bucks a piece for the hats. Um, I went to a tag sale where clothing was a dollar each. I bought three garbage bags full. This is just one of the bags. Um, I had this nice NFL equipment Patriots hoodie, uh, Under Armour t-shirt. The t-shirts I usually put up for 15 bucks each, um, hoping to get 10. Uh, this is a cool WWE Dean, Dean Ambrose tee. Got a Marvel one. Nike football, like I said, they were a buck each. This one, um, believe it or not, is Mac Jones from the Patriots. There was a, a game, I think it was during COVID, it was like retro football on your phone. It looked like Tecmo Bowl, and they were selling merch. And I actually bought the Buccaneers shirt, so that's why I know. But that's supposedly Mac Jones from the Patriots. Um, this cool old Oregon, Oregon, Oregon hoodie, I like this. It's not old, it's Old Navy, but I just like the retro look of it. Uh, we got a Grinchy Grin shirt, I actually have that shirt. Uh, it's Under Armour uh, wound, bloop, bloop, Wounded Warrior shirt. Um, this is cool. This is Ebbets Field flannels. We'll talk more about that soon, but uh, Boston Shamrocks hoodie. Got a little number 36 in the football on the sleeve. That's pretty cool. Another Under Armour football shirt. This is a Disney Parks Mickey uh, Distress tee. Um, I don't know how to say that. 
some school that had a wrestling team. And it says it's a Redskins thing on the back. I bet you it's not a Redskins thing anymore. They're probably named something stupid like the Nor'easters or something now. Uh, got a Wheaties tee. You know I'm a sucker for football stuff. This is just an old Navy t-shirt with a football number on it. White Oak of California, another old Navy shirt. It's California on the back. University of New Haven lacrosse. This is an Adidas shirt. Uh, a Pepsi tee. This thing is thick as heck. Um, this is cool. It does. I, it had a tag on it when I got it, and it fell off. But it's a Darth Vader's on the sleeve. It's a Darth Vader zip-up hoodie. I don't know what brand it is. Oh, it's a Star Wars branded hoodie. I think it's really nice. It's brand new. Um, and lastly, another Nike hoodie. These are all adult size, extra large, or 2XL too, so that's great. Um, like I said, dollar piece for all that. So the hoodie's at least 25, 30. Maybe that Ebbets Field one's probably a little bit more. Um, we went to the Elephant's Trunk Flea Market this weekend, and Ben Joe Gaming sells Nerf. He sells Nerf guns online. So we have a, if you guys know what a Vulcan Nerf gun is, it's like a $100 gun, but we're missing the tripod, the ammo belt, and the ammo box that goes with it. So we got to a stand, the man had this giant bin full of Legos. This thing was overflowing. We've already listed like, over four dollars worth of guns that were in it these are just the extra parts that are left he had the three parts that he needed we pulled the parts out we're going to offer him 10 bucks he said 10 bucks take the whole bin so i mean we're going to probably make hopefully about 400 four five hundred dollars when it's all said and done uh, we're going to lot all the rest of this stuff up I, like i said we had full guns already that we've listed four or five of them so we're in good shape there um these pops um I was working in the middle of the night last week uh, on whatnot. I know I'm gonna talk about whatnot a lot. It's new, so I love it. Um, new for me. Uh, so I always stay in the storage unit, estate sale section, because there is a pop section where the pops sell for more than double in that section. But this estate sale guy had about 70 pops he was selling, and there was nine people in the auction, and it was just me and another guy that were buying them. Um, I bought 19 pops. Um, they all started at five dollars. The first one I paid five shipping, so one of these I paid ten for, and it was a dollar fifty shipping on the rest of them. So the rest of them were six fifty each. Um, I only bought the ones that sell for at least fifteen dollars. Um, I didn't even take the name tags off them, but we got some. Uh, this is a Marvel Scarlet Witch. I don't know who that is. Um, I don't really know Mul Mul Mulyan. Is that Disney? I don't know. I don't know about it. Uh, Bruce Banner Hulk. Uh, this one's actually, it's got some box damage, but CJ Parker from Baywatch. This one goes for like 25, 35 bucks. So that was cool. Uh, I got a lot of these military ones. I got a Marine, Wild Thing, Ricky Vaughn. I'm keeping this one. Um, I probably paid what it's worth. There's a Chase version where he has the glasses on that's worth like over a hundred bucks, but I'll keep it. Major League was awesome. Uh, got another Navy Sailor here. Uh, 40 year old virgin. Um, I always call him Michael Scott. Steve Carell. Uh, which is pretty cool on the back. It shows the other ones. And there's one where he has his chest waxed. That's just awesome. Uh, another soldier here. We got we got Hermione Granger. I like the Harry Potter ones. I'll probably keep Hermione. Uh, any other ones? Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I heard it's a good movie. I'm old. It was, you know, I was little or not born when it came out, but I never seen it. But everyone says it's good. Another uh, military one. Walking Dead. I was in Walking Dead for like a year, had to get out. It was just crazy. Uh, Newman from Seinfeld, but keeping this one. It's funny because uh, Newman from Seinfeld is going to come up in another buy I did. Uh, we'll talk about in a minute. Captain Marvel. Dragon Ball Z, know nothing about them. Fleur Delacour. That was their name. That was a good movie for Harry Potter. Here's a Harry Potter. Dang it. Got that one, and the last one that was holding stuff up is from Star Trek. I don't, this might have been a mistake, I'm not sure, but I got that. Like I said, they all sell for at least 16, 15, 16 each, uh, plus shipping. So I picked them all up. And um, what I have left here was actually two different buys, also on Whatnot. I believe their name was Locker Blocker, was their thing. They, they buy out storage units. So... One of the storage units they bought out was um, full of props from a movie. 
I think they're in Texas. It's called uh, 11 Mighty Orphans. I think it came out during COVID. Got big stars like McConaughey, Wilson, Sheen, Duvall. You know, it's Rooster McConaughey, not Matthew, but whatever. And it's um, Luke Wilson, not Owen, but whatever. Ch uh, not Charlie Sheen, Martin Sheen. So I guess, I don't know, they were Mighty Orphans and they... It was set like back in the early times and they formed a football team. So you know I was all in on it. Um, and uh, so these were the props from the actual movie. Uh, the, the people that sold it actually set COAs with their information on it saying that they found these props from a movie. But if uh, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. I won this whole orphan outfit in a free giveaway. Um, this is what I guess the orphans were wearing, but um, they're marked like, the character's name is crazy his name's in everything that's here we got this little orphan shirt it stinks um this orphan t-shirt has his name in it crazy and uh his little orphan is not little orphan pants i guess they were adults but they were skinny uh see it's got all the markings from the character and uh the reason why i said uh newman from seifeld's gonna come up again wayne knight is also in this movie i guess he was the evil guy that ran the orphanage um and they were selling his clothes, like his suit that he wore, sold for like 150 bucks. Weird. Yeah, so like I said, that was a free giveaway. Um, I bought a bunch of the football jerseys from the movie. And um, they're still dirty from filming and all that. And uh, they're all like, again, they're all Ebbets Field flannels. And if you guys know that brand, like these shirts are like $100, $150 used to buy their jerseys. So, and um, they had dozens of these jerseys that they were selling and none of them have hit the online market yet so i'm curious to see what they're going to be selling for they said every shirt that every jersey that they sold this was like the orphans jersey um they had two of each so like like this is the orphans uniform like you know at the end of the movie you know of course they started winning they got better jerseys and this is uh what they ended up wearing like i said they're all ebbets field flannels um they're all marked with which uh actor wore them this is number seven here. And I got, um, these are the other teams that like they played jerseys. I got this one. It kind of reminded me of an old beer, Walter Payton jersey, but it's actually black. Uh, you know, like this one cool with the stripes. These are like heavy, they're like sweater material. Um, and there's a couple more out here. You know, this is number 55. Oh, great. Trash auction thing broke. 38 here. Stripes are cool. They look old. So I got a bunch of them. I got like six jerseys. Um, also from there, I got these pennants. You know, these are from the opposing high schools. Uh, you know, again, they were just props from the movie. Just polytechnic somebody. This stuff kind of smells a little moldy. This one's great. The Burroughs. Love that one. Stevensville or Stephensville, perhaps? And the Amarillo Sandies, pretty cool. So I'm loving that. Um, also in that auction, I picked up these two Wii games randomly. Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, Kirby's Epic Yarn. I think I paid 30 bucks for the two of these, but both of them sell for 35 plus. They're both complete, no scratches. So that'll be a good flip. Um, oh, also from the movie, the, this is a referee's uniform and I have this sock somewhere. I just didn't have the pants. This is what the referees were wearing back then Again, this is a prop from the movie the guy's names in it Bizarre So it's pretty cool it comes with the hat so this my guy was sweating during filming because it's gross in there But it's a cool like page boy kind of hat um, and it's weird, and you know, I come to like long black socks, and they wore like the uh, the puffy trousers that I'm gonna try to find up here to complete the set. But I got this for ten bucks, like this whole thing. I love it. Um, the jerseys I paid, I didn't pay over thirty for any of them. I think they were all around twenty five a piece. Um, and the the pennants I got for ten for all of them. Um, they didn't have any of the helmets or the cleats for, or the football pants from the movie, but they had tons and tons of everything else from the movie it was pretty cool that it was a whole storage unit full uh, oh here it sucks and like i said they said um in the chat during the auction an actor from the movie he was one of the extras that was the football players got in the chat and was talking about the movie uh it was filmed during covid and um 
the release got delayed and you know blah 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 but everyone says that seen the movie that it's actually a pretty good movie that should have been more popular i'm gonna watch it i got one other thing from that auction that's in the background over there we'll do a close above it later i'll show you um a couple other things that they also had which i absolutely love this thing it's from the 1970s it's a texas longhorns jacket uh band jacket 